Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Retired Vet Show. The top DOJ assistant attorney for the Civil Rights Division lied to the Senate during her confirmation back in <clears throat> 2021. And you might ask, why is that important? Because you can see the corruption that is in 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 just as an inherent in Washington, D.C., whether it be the House, the Senate, the lobbyists that work up there, even in the Department of Justice and the FBI. It is all infested with people who might have lied and now in the positions of power to come out to us, the American people. No one knows their backgrounds because they are in a position of authority. And that's the unfortunate part about it. And we should know these things prior to our elected officials putting them in positions of power. And this particular woman had an incident in her marriage. It was a tragic incident, don't get me wrong, because it was it was a an affair that her husband had, and she went over to confront her husband in a in a fit of rage, tried to tried to stab him. He grabbed for the knife and it cut her. And because it was a domestic violence incident, which someone actually got uh, an, in, ha, has an injury upon their body, the person who initiated it obviously has to go to jail. And that's exactly what happened. And that's what her husband said. It was I was at fault, but she did, you know, draw the knife, come over here with the knife, and therein lies the problem. And she did not disclose it when they have this long questionnaire that they have to fill out prior to their confirmation. And of course, they take this long list of questions and answers and they go and try to verify all this information that is accurate. But for whatever reason, the FBI and the Senate did not do, do did not do due diligence and do a complete and thorough investigation of her background because this particular incident was expunged. And no doubt it was tragic for her because her husband cheated. I get it. But at a minimum, she should have come forth with and say, hey, this happened, but it got expunged out of my record. She chose to keep it a secret, hoping nobody would ever find out. But just so happened you had one investigative reporter reach out to the husband and it was uncovered. And so now Senator Lee is, is, is calling on her to resign from her position as the second in command of the Civil Rights Division. And that's important because me being a former military person, if I had a person in a position of authority over me that had done something wrong and then I get myself in trouble, how can you mete out justice to me when you've done wrong? But now you sit in a position of authority over me. That just, it, don't, it just doesn't go over very well. So it is best for her to resign because no doubt she's going to have a case involving something similar, a black and a white person. And she's probably going to try to prosecute whichever color that is not black. How can you do that when you're just as guilty? You have this in your background, but yet you try to keep it a secret. So you should resign. But I know the Department of Justice, nor President Biden, is going to tell her to step down unless there's just an overwhelming outcry from the House and the Senate, as well as the people, for her to step down. Will they finally capitulate and force her out, which I don't foresee the Democrats doing that because they still got people up there representing people that are that are, that are on federal charges right now. What's his name? Um, he's a senator. Um, I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but he's indicted for taking bribes. Menendez, he's indicted for taking bribes, yet he's still a senator. So I don't foresee them doing anything about it. But we shall see. We hope that she'll do the right thing and, and come forward and say, hey, I've caused too much problems here. I think I'm going to go ahead and resign. But I think the power of that position is just too great that she's going to try to ride it out. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Would you do two things for me while you're here? If you made it this far in this video, would you please hit that thumbs up button? Because that helps the algorithm send the video out further. And if you've enjoyed this content, would you please subscribe to the channel for further content? And as always, God bless you all.